in the very competitive market that we are in right outside of Philadelphia, I get questions all the time from my buyers. How high should I bid? How aggressive should my offer be? And the way I answer that is I always say, well, how badly do you want it? So this is something that I refer to as the desperation factor. So consider somebody who's just begun looking, they don't have to move, can stay in their house a while, that, and they see a house that they like, um, but it's maybe the first, second, third house they've seen. If they are considering putting a bid on that house, my guess is that that bid is going to look a lot different from the bid that buyer number two would put on. So here's buyer number two's scenario. Buyer number two is moving here for uh, a job change. They have sold their home. They are in temporary housing that the company has provided for them, but they only have six or eight weeks left that that's available to them. They have two Rottweilers and they can't find anyone who will let them rent. So now that person looks a lot different. And that, oh, and that person, let's say, has seen 46 houses and put three bids on homes and lost all of them. Buyer number two's bid on the same property is going to look much different than buyer number one's. So that desperation factor, that how badly do you want it, really is the basis for how high do you bid. And again, bids on homes aren't just about the price. We talk about highest and best. So highest is the number, but best uh, addresses the terms, the settlement date. Are you doing an inspection? Are you... Uh, giving a, a really large deposit or potentially some part of the deposit that's non-refundable. There are all kinds of terms and conditions. It's not just the number. The other thing that I like to tell my buyers is when you're trying to come up with the highest number that you want to bid on a property, here's what I tell them. If I tell you that, if I call you the morning after the bidding is over and I say, I'm really sorry, but you didn't get the house. Regardless, you're going to be disappointed. However, if I say you didn't get the house, you were outbid, there were three or four bids higher than yours and they were appreciably higher. They were $40,000, $80,000, whatever the number is higher than yours. You'll still be disappointed you didn't get the house. But in scenario number two, you are probably going to be a little bit more upset. Here's scenario number two. I say, you didn't get the house. Somebody else bid $1,000 more than you. Now note that it's actually unlikely that the listing agent will give specific information. So it's quite unlikely and your buyer agent is going to say to you, I know exactly what the bid is that won. It was exactly this much more. But in the long run, all those things become public and let's say you discover that it only went for a thousand more than you bid. In most cases, you're going to be even more upset than if it were way out of your range. So here's what I say to people. If I tell you, mm, you were outbid by a thousand dollars. If you say to me, ah, oh, a thousand dollars, you know, that's so close, but really the number we gave you, if I'd had to go more than the number we gave you, which was a thousand dollars less, I think I might have had buyer's remorse, so it's only $1,000, but it just got too rich for my blood. Then you made the right choice. If on the other hand, you say to me, $1,000? I would have gone up 1000 I would have gone up 1500 I probably would have gone up 2000 Then the number that you gave me as your highest was not your highest. So it's very difficult to put yourself in the mind frame of how will I feel if... You know, where will I go? It, it's difficult to come up with a number, but that is what you are tasked to do if you are putting an offer on a house and your agent says, okay, what is your highest number? So again, it's a difficult exercise, but in my mind, it's the way you have to frame it in order to come up with what your highest number is. So when you are in a competitive market and there are multiple bids on a property and you only have one shot, to put in your highest and best, consider the desperation factor as well as that fulcrum where you're going to go from just saying, oh, I would have gone higher to, 
I know it's not that much higher than it went for, but I think I would have had remorse had I gone there. That's sort of your, your harbinger, your telltale, as it were. So hopefully that will help a little bit.